Hey everyone, Ghostmo here, and welcome back to another Gear Short. Today, we're going to talk bear cans. Now, for those of you who don't know, a couple years ago, I made the switch from bear bags to bear cans permanently. And I'm going to do a video a couple weeks here, that talks a little bit more about why I made that decision. But we're not going to talk about the day, we're just going to talk about the bear can. So, when I made that switch, I bought the Bear Vault 450. This seemed like a good option because at the time there were only two sizes and this was the smaller size and i thought that that would be better because i typically solo and i typically only go out for a few days at a time so i didn't think i needed a full size one um, at the time so i went ahead and got this but that said most of my trips tend to be one maybe two nights tops and frankly this thing is kind of bulky and so i decided to go ahead and get the new bear vault 425. Now, as my buddy Snackbox pointed out, it looks like somebody put their bear can in the dry cycle for a little too long. It's basically just a smaller version. And the reason why I went with this is because it is designed for people who are going out for one or two nights at a time. Um, and so it's made to a smaller size. Now, of course, because it's smaller, it is a little bit lighter. This one weighs in around 27 ounces versus the original 450, which is about 33 ounces. Not a huge weight saving, but the main reason why I got this wasn't because of the weight, it was because of the convenience and size. So I found that I can cram most of the, or all the food that I need into this for easily one night. And generally I can get probably two, and if I'm really stretching my early 90s Tetris playing ability, possibly up to three. But that's gonna be a little bit tough, but there are some ways around that I can talk about here in a second. But basically what this does is it allows me to have a small area to carry a smaller amount of food. Um, and basically because it is smaller, it is easier to fit into the pack. So for instance, instead of putting it in horizontally, I can put it in uh, on its side and I don't have that big rounded curve kind of pushing back into the back, which I have experienced a couple times in packing my pack. And then I don't also don't have to worry about packing in things that I don't need into it, which is a lot more convenient. Um, that said, if I wanted to go a little bit longer with this and just couldn't quite fit food into it, no worries. Because one easy trick to that is you don't have to bear bag your first or bear can your first day's food, the food that you're going to eat on your first night. Because if you're hiking along, just put that in your pack. And as long as you have enough space to put the trash into there, you're good to go. Um, so again, I've tried it out and generally speaking, I can easily for me get two days worth of food or two nights worth of food in here. So that's generally a three day trip or a weekend, which is most of what I do. So I think that, uh, if you are somebody who is hesitant to switch over to bear cans because of their bulk, um, because you don't do a lot of big trips and you're typically only going out with yourself, uh, by yourself, this is a great option because it is smaller. It's a little bit lighter, but it is a whole lot less bulky. And I think it's the right mats for you.